like the flow of the game? Um, I think it was a little bit choppy here and there, but um, a lot of credit to LSU. They were making some really tough shots at the end of the day. Uh, we stood by our scouting report, um, and I'm just so proud of all of my teammates uh, for the grit and determination. It could have gone two different ways at halftime, and it went the way we wanted it to. Granted, the, the outcome wasn't what we needed, but uh, we fought all the way through. When you fouled out, you got a standing O, and then what did you say to your teammates? I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember. I think I just, whoever was subbing it, I think it was Addie, I just told her she's got it. Um, and she does. And there's nobody I'd rather leave kind of the post position or whatever to. Um, I'm just so proud of this team. And I think in the moment, so into the game, I didn't let myself really break down until afterwards. So um, I just love this team so much. And that's why it hurts so bad. Um, when you have something this fun and this exciting, it hurts to have to step away from it. So regardless, today there's going to be tears. Uh, so I'm just really proud of this team. How much of a sense do you have for how this team kind of lifted the state? Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I once I'm done with all of this, I can reflect on it a little bit more, but um, I think we've done something that, that nobody else has done truly um, for Iowa City and for Iowa, just the places we love so much and we want to give back to as much as we can. Um, I'm really excited to get back to Iowa City and just be with my people and, and see kind of all the buzz that's been created, but um, I'm glad that our, this program has, has a, people nationally are speaking about it. Building off that, um, what do you think this season has done in terms of redefining Iowa women's basketball and that you guys do belong in this upper echelon? Yeah, I mean, I think even more than that, Big Ten basketball, um, just get, getting a name for itself, re people recognizing the edge it has to it, um, that Big Ten teams can compete at this high of level and make a mark. Truly, I think that's kind of the, the message I feel like we'd want to give. How much better do you think Caitlin can get? I mean, I think really the sky's the limits for Caitlin. Um, every single year you think, oh, what is she going to possibly do and that she does something. So I'm just really excited uh, to see her grow as a basketball player, but as a friend too and as a person, um, just being there for her in her journey. Being honest, Ryan, any moment or game that stands out to you the most? No, it's all just like moments with my team, just having fun. Uh, I've never played basketball because I genuinely like love the. I mean, I love the game of basketball, but it's, I've always been so about the team, and that's the reason I started playing, and that's the reason I've, I've continued doing it so far. Um, I love being a part of a culture and really feeling like embedded in the fabric of it, and that's exactly what I found here at Iowa. So um, I'm nothing. I'm nothing but gratitude for this program, these coaches, my team, um, all my teams throughout the years, not just this one. Um, just super grateful. A lot of said she'd be nothing without you. How do you, how do you feel about that? How do you I mean, she would be something. <laughs> Obviously, we know that. But, I mean, I think that just speaks to the type of person she is. Just always so humble. Um, putting other people before herself. All of her interviews, she talks about us, um, her teammates. And I think that just speaks not only to Caitlin, but to the culture of this program. Um, that's what we care about, each other. Um, and that's what we're going to care about to the very end. So, um, having a player of that caliber buy into our culture and just be that humble. Um, it's great to see, and it's a role model for everybody else. It's teaching younger kids how to do it because she's doing it the right way. I wouldn't presume that anything's going to happen in the transfer portal, but let's, you know, rhetorically, let's say that a, a prominent post player, a proven post player, uh, was considering coming in. What would you tell them? This is a great program, and you'd be really lucky to be able to come to Iowa, truly. Coach Jay has done things for me that I didn't even have belief in myself that I'd be able to do. Um, truly one of the best post players ever, and she's proven it time and time again. I don't even really need to say it. Um, but I think any player that gets the opportunity to play at Iowa, um, they're stepping into a legacy, and they're truly stepping into a second family, which is what I was looking for coming here. Um, being away from home, it's, it's not that hard when you have the people I'm surrounded with. So um, nothing but appreciative of this program. Gabby, yeah, you said something about just the loyalty that, you know, this uh, starting five has had for a while. I mean, what makes it just special, especially you? Yeah, I mean, I truly believe you're not going to find anything better, honestly. It's never been a question for any of us to leave and try finding it somewhere else. Um, you put your nose down, you do the work, and you there's going to be hard times anywhere, no matter where you go. Um, obviously, I, I love this team with my whole heart, but things have always been perfect. There's always adversity, so um, that, that's what a family is. You go through ups and downs. So um, I just think that the loyalty, like Abby said, is, is huge here, and we all really appreciate it. Obviously bulk of this team is going to be back next season. Mm -hmm. um, how excited are you to watch from afar how much getting this close to the top motivates them oh, through next year? I'm so excited and I'll probably be, I'm thinking, I've been thinking about it, I'll probably be overseas so I'm going to have to be setting alarms at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. 
Um, but I just, I love these girls so much and being able to watch them do their things. I mean, I'll say it. I have get so much more joy watching them make their shots than my own. Honestly, if I could just do that all the time, that'd be amazing. So um, I'm really excited to watch, but I'm just really excited to kind of reflect on all of it. It's also fresh.